Amazing! Look at all of these duelists. They're having so much fun. Ah. I wish I could have fun playing card games like the rest of the kids on the surface. Hey, you're a lot older than the rest of these kids. Who are you? You don't know who I am. You must have been living in a cave. No, I've been living in a tomb, awaiting the return of the nameless pharaoh. This is the only time I've ever seen the surface world. Mm, I can see that. My name is Maximilian Pegasus, and I'm the creator of everyone's beloved Duel Monsters card game. I'm also the founder and president of Industrial Illusions. I am... There's no need for you to introduce yourself, Merrick. Hey, how did you know my name? I have my ways. I also know that you're heir to the Tomb Keepers. You bear the burden of carrying the Pharaoh's lost memories until his eventual return. It's not fair. Why can't I duel for fun, like the other kids? Why must I carry on the legacy of the Tomb Keepers? Why can't you duel for fun? We can have a duel right now, Merrick. And I guarantee it will be the most fun you've ever had. You mean it? You'll duel me? Sure. You can even go first if you like. I'll begin this duel by activating the effect of my Gravekeeper's com Commandant. By discarding it, I add the Necro Valley Field Spell card from my deck to my hand. Next, I activate my Field Spell card, Necro Valley. Now that our duel is set in the Valley of the Kings, I'll have a home field advantage, even while I'm here in Nashville, Tennessee. You wanted to get away from your heritage, so you brought us back to Egypt. <laughs> My Necro Valley is more than just a change in scenery. It also increases the attack and defense points of all Gravekeeper's monsters by 500. Plus, it protects both of our graveyards from grave robbers. Grave robbers? If any card would move one of our other cards from its rightful place in the graveyard, Necro Valley negates that card. Now, I set a monster on my field. I don't suppose that monster is Gravekeeper's spy, is it? Hey, how did you know? It's obvious. Well, is this obvious? I activate Royal Tribute. <laughs> now, we each reveal our hands and discard all monster cards we're holding. Sorry to disappoint you, Merrick, but there are no monster cards in my hand. And don't bother showing me your hand, Merrick. I already know that there are no monster cards in it. Fine, I won't. I'll just end my turn instead. <laughs> that means it's my turn. And what a spectacular turn this will be. My turn will commence where any great story begins. With the Table of Contents, I activate Toon Table of Contents. This card lets me search my deck for any Toon card and add it to my hand. Prepare to enter a world of imagination and creativity. A world that you never knew existed. A world full of tunes. I activate Toon Kingdom. My Toon Kingdom sets the most delightful stage for the rest of my cards. And I can activate it by simply banishing the top three cards of my deck. While it's face up on the field, my Toon Kingdom counts as Toon World creating a welcoming realm for my beloved Toon Monsters. In addition, my Toon Kingdom affords a unique protection to each of my dearest Toons. But don't worry, Merrick boy. Thanks to some new changes I recently made to the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game, we can each control our very own field spell at the exact same time. So while I'm building a kingdom full of Toon Monsters, feel free to summon your monsters in the boring old Necro Valley. <laughs> Are you done with your turn yet? <laughs> Not even close. I activate my spell card, Pot of Greed. 
This card lets me draw two more cards from my deck. Next, I special summon the first of my many Toon monsters, Toon Cyber Dragon. Is it a machine? Is it a dragon? Nobody knows. But one thing that we all agree on is the fact that my Toon Cyber Dragon is adorable. <laughs> as long as you control a monster and I don't, I can special summon Toon Cyber Dragon from my hand without tributing any monsters. Next, I summon Toon Masked Sorcerer. Lucky for you, none of my Toon Monsters can attack during the turn they're summoned, but I'm not done yet. I'm also activating this card, Shard of Greed. Now whenever I draw a card in my draw phase, I get to add a Greed counter to my Shard of Greed. Once it has two Greed counters, I can send it to the graveyard to draw two cards. Finally, I'll set one card face down and end my turn. It's my move. My deck contains some of the strongest cards since the dawn of Duel Monsters. Like this one. I activate Raigeki. This card destroys all monsters on your field. I'm sorry to tell you that your Raigeki spell card won't work against me. My Toon Kingdom comes with its very own lightning rod, which diverts the path of your Raigeki. And that's not the only protection granted by my field spell card. While Toon Kingdom is on my field, whenever one of my Toon Monsters would be destroyed by a card effect, I can banish the top card of my deck face down to protect that Toon Monster. Since your Raigeki spell card is threatening to destroy both of my Toon Monsters, I'll banish the top two cards from my deck to protect them. That's one card for Toon Masked Sorcerer, and one card for Toon Cyber Dragon. Oh, now my Toon Monsters are safe and sound. Fine. Then I'll just have to destroy your Toon Kingdom. <laughs> Easier said than done. I flip summon my Gravekeeper Spy. When my Gravekeeper Spy is flipped face up, I can special summon another Gravekeeper's monster from my deck. Plus, thanks to Necro Valley, my spy has 1,700 attack points. I special summon Gravekeeper's Descendant from my deck in attack mode with the effect of my spy. You're trying to activate your Descendant's effect to tribute your spy and destroy my Toon Kingdom, but I can't allow that. I activate Toon Briefcase. As long as I control a Toon Monster, I can activate my Toon Briefcase Trap card to shuffle a monster that you summon back into your deck. Your Gravekeeper's Descendant is going right back into the deck from which it came. There are plenty more Gravekeepers left for me to summon. I summon Gravekeeper's Assailant. My Gravekeeper's Assailant starts off with 1,500 attack and defense points but gains an additional 500 attack and defense points thanks to Necro Valley, bringing it up to 2,000 attack and defense points. Now, Gravekeeper's Assailant, attack Pegasus's Toon Masked Sorcerer and activate your effect. When my Gravekeeper's Assailant attacks while Necro Valley is on my field, I can switch the battle position of any monster on your field. Since your Toon Cyber Dragon has 1,600 defense points and my Gravekeeper Spy has 1,700 attack points, I'll switch your Toon Cyber Dragon into defense mode so that my Spy can destroy it in battle. Uh, 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 sorry, Merrick. As long as Toon Kingdom is face up on my field, my Toon Monsters can't be targeted by your card effects. That includes the effect of your Gravekeeper's Assailant. Even so, that won't save your Toon Masked Sorcerer from my attack. That won't, but my Toon Kingdom's other effect will. Whenever one of my Toon Monsters would be destroyed in battle while Toon Kingdom is on the field, I can banish the top card of my deck face down to save my Toon Monster. And that's exactly what I'll do. You still lose 1,100 life points in the battle. And I'd do it again if I had to. You will. Gravekeeper Spy, 
Attack Pegasus's Toon Masked Sorcerer! Indeed I will. I'll once again banish the top card of my deck face down to protect my Toon Masked Sorcerer. You lose another 800 life points. That means I still have more than half of my life points left. Sounds good to me. I set one card face down before ending my turn. Oh, it's my turn again. I draw a card and add a greed counter to my shard of greed. And now, it's time to showcase the most favorite of my Toon's abilities. Toon Cyber Dragon, attack Merrick directly. You can't. I have two gravekeepers on my field protecting me. I don't care about your grave keepers. I only care about Toon Monsters, and so does my Toon Cyber Dragon. As long as I have Toon World on my field, my Toon Cyber Dragon, like the rest of the Toon Monsters in my deck, can attack you directly while you don't have any Toon Monsters on your field. Oh, no! <laughs> that means you lose 2,100 life points to my Toon Cyber Dragon's attack. Next, it's my Toon Masked Sorcerer's turn to attack. Once again, you don't have any Toon Monsters on your field, so my Toon Masked Sorcerer will attack you directly. You lose 900 more life points. Am I supposed to be scared of 900 points of damage? Perhaps not, but my Toon Masked Sorcerer's effect also activates whenever it deals damage to my opponent. So on top of that additional 900 point lead, I get to draw a card from my deck. And what a card I've drawn. Here's a card that inspires terror in even the toughest duelists. I activate Shadow Toon. I can activate my Shadow Toon spell card as long as I control Toon World. And when I do, my Shadow Toon deals damage to your life points equal to the attack points of one of your monsters. I'll use my Shadow Toon to inflict 2,000 points of damage to your life points. That's one point of damage for each of your Gravekeeper Assailant's attack points. But I only have 1,000 life points left. Right you are. <laughs> I activate my Counter Trap card, Imperial Tombs of Necro Valley. While I control Necro Valley and a Gravekeeper's monster, my Imperial Tombs of Necro Valley can negate any spell, trap, or monster effect. The light emanating from my Imperial Tombs of Necro Valley dispels your Shadow Tomb. This duel isn't over yet. I didn't expect that it would be. It's your move. I draw. <laughs> Perfect! Oh no! I've redrawn my Gravekeeper's Descendant! I summon it in attack mode! Thanks to the boost from Necro Valley, my Gravekeeper's Descendant has 2,000 attack points. But most importantly, its special ability will finally put an end to your Toon Kingdom. By tributing my Gravekeeper's Spy, my Gravekeeper's Descendant destroys Toon Kingdom! The home of my beloved Toons. How dare you. Without Toon World on the field, my Toon Masked Sorcerer has nowhere to go but to the graveyard. Fortunately, my Toon Cyber Dragon is a tough customer. Unlike my Sorcerer, he'll stick around on my field even without the protections of my Toon Kingdom. Big mistake. Because now your Toon Cyber Dragon will incur the wrath of the Toon Keepers. Gravekeeper's Assailant, attack Pegasus's Toon Cyber Dragon. Since your Toon Cyber Dragon's attack points are higher than my Assailant's, but its defense points are lower, I'll use my Assailant's effect to switch your Toon Cyber Dragon into defense mode. Destroy his Toon Cyber Dragon. Oh, you'll pay for that. <laughs> it looks like you're the only one paying. 2,000 life points to be precise. Gravekeeper's Descendant, attack Pegasus directly. I may lose 2,000 life points, but I still have 100 life points left. And that's all I need to beat you, Merrick. That's big talk from a man who likes cartoons. I've destroyed everything you hold dear. <laughs> it's your move. I draw... Now I add a second greed counter to my shard of greed. I never let a minor setback get the best of me, especially since it's one that I can so easily roll back. 
First, I send my shard of greed to the graveyard to draw two cards. Now that my spell and trap card zone is clear, I activate Heavy Storm. This card destroys all spell and trap cards on the field. Bid farewell to your Necro Valley. <laughs> With Necro Valley off the field, I once again have access to our graveyards. Next, I activate a second copy of Toon Kingdom. This copy of Toon Kingdom grants my tunes all of the benefits that my first Toon Kingdom did. How the tables have turned. Now I have Toon Kingdom on my field, and you don't have Necro Valley. Next, I'll activate Monster Reborn to special summon Toon Cyber Dragon back to my field. And that's not all. Next, I'll special summon Toon Mermaid to the field. As long as I control Toon World, I can special summon Toon Mermaid from my hand. Finally, I'll normal summon Toon Goblin Attack Force. Now my field is built up with three more Toon Monsters and the all-important Toon Kingdom. But just to stack the odds even more in my favor, I think I should get rid of your pesky gravekeepers. And I have just the card to do it. I activate Mimicat. This card takes a card from your graveyard and places it onto my field. I think I'll take your Raigeki. And I'll waste no time activating it. <laughs> As you already know, Raigeki destroys all monsters on your field. My gravekeepers! <laughs> my Necro Valley is gone, and all of my monsters are destroyed. I have failed in my sacred duty as Tomb Keeper. Why must I be burdened with this responsibility while duelists like you get to have fun with tunes? It's not fair! What's this? I sense an evil presence with my Millennium Eye. <laughs> Thank you, Pegasus. By bringing out Marek's rage and envy, you freed me. Now I will make you and your tunes suffer as I inflict a slow and painful torment upon you and your pathetic monsters. Do your worst. My worst is my best. It's my move. I draw. I've drawn the perfect card. I tribute your Toon Cyber Dragon, Toon Goblin Attack Force, and Toon Mermaid to normal summon a very special monster. Come forth, the winged dragon of Ra, in sphere mode! So, that's what you give to the man who has everything. A big glowing bowling ball. Make all the jokes you want. When this duel is over, I'll be the one laughing. <laughs> I draw a card. <laughs> the card you drew is Toon Mask. That card won't save you. It will only delay your inevitable defeat. How did you know what card I drew? It's not so fun when someone uses Millennium Magic against you to see your cards, is it, Pegasus? I used my Millennium Rod to take control of the cameraman and zoom in on your hand. I set my card face down and end my turn. Perfect. That means the Winged Dragon of Ra Sphere Mode returns to me. After the Winged Dragon of Ra Sphere Mode is normal summoned, it returns to its rightful owner during the end phase of the next turn. The Winged Dragon of Ra's power is mine. I've never seen someone so excited over a useless sphere. Unlike you. I can tap into the power of the Winged Dragon of Ra. Great beast of the sky, please hear my cry. Transform thyself from orb of light and bring me victory in this fight. Envelop the deserts with your glow and cast your rage upon my foe. Unlock your powers from deep within so that together we may win. 
appear in this shadow as I call your name, Winged Dragon of Ra! Oh no! Behold, as the Winged Dragon of Ra changes form, and in this new form emerges with 4,000 attack and defense points. Now, Winged Dragon of Ra, attack Pegasus directly, end this duel! Your Egyptian god card certainly is impressive, but it's no alligator with an axe. I activate my trap card, Toon Mask. This card lets me special summon a Toon Monster from my hand or deck, as long as its level is lower than the level of the Winged Dragon of Ra. I'll special summon my level four Toon Alligator in defense mode. Do you know why he's grinning? It's because he's about to save me from your Egyptian god card. 4,000 attack points will obliterate your pathetic monster. And nothing can stop its attack. How sad. But its sacrifice will not be in vain. It's my turn. This is too perfect. I activate my spell, Comic Hand. This card lets me take control of your winged dragon of Ra. You fool. You think you can tame the winged dragon of Ra? I won't have to, because my comic hand turns it into an adorable, lovable toon first. <laughs> my toon winged dragon of Ra and I are going to be the best of friends, and the first thing we'll share together is our victory in this duel. Never! <laughs> it's over, Merrick. Toon winged dragon of Ra, attack Merrick directly! It's not over yet, Pegasus. I special summon Juragato from my hand in defense mode. I can special summon Juragato during either duelist's battle step. Then Juragato grants me 1,000 life points, bringing me up to a total of 2,000 life points. But more importantly, my Juragato will block your monster's attack and keep me in this duel. My most loyal winged dragon of Ra will return to me and finish you off. <laughs> How many times must I tell you, Merrick, there is no winged dragon of Ra. There's only a toon of its former self. <laughs> and my toon winged dragon of Ra won't be stopped by your Jurigato. Like most other Toon Monsters, my Toon Winged Dragon of Ra can attack you directly as long as you don't control any Toons. And since your Jurigato isn't funny looking enough to be a cartoon character, you're out of luck. Toon Winged Dragon of Ra, attack Merrick directly and end this duel! No! Hey, what happened? I lost? You did. <laughs> but it was a fantastic duel. And since I had so much fun, I'll let you keep your soul. Yeah, that was fun. I can't wait to tell Odeon that I dueled against the creator of Duel Monsters. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe we'll duel against one another again someday. But for now, let's continue the World Championship Qualifier.